Testing, testing. Just be doing a simple Q and A session today. So if you have any questions to ask uh, us about the game, about our Indiegogo campaign, or anything about us, just ask us. Okay. So Kion will be uh, behind here, uh, drawing stuff. So if you have any questions to ask him, we can ask him, and uh, I will sort of ask him on your behalf. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's it's better we buy here, lah. So just feel free to ask us anything, and this is what the Q and A session is about. Yeah. Just adjust the camera. Yeah. So to, today is more of a Q and A session while uh, we chat about anything. So feel free to ask us anything. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I will also be looking at the Twitch TV chat through my uh, mobile phone. So that should allow us to get your questions instantly, just like that. Okay, <laughs> so our first question of the day is from Anasasi. <laughs> So he asks, uh, why have you only started using Twitter on your phone recently? Okay, and to answer that, okay, and that's because uh, I've not, or rather I've forgotten the password to it. So I've reset the password and using that new password, I've logged in to Twitter on my phone just a few days back. And that's our first question from Anasasi. <laughs> yeah, so there's a lot of passwords that I can't remember. So sometimes I have to reset them in order to uh, reassess them or reuse them from another device. Okay, so that's the first question. Okay, let's see what the second question will be like. So if you're wondering what I'm doing, okay, I'm preparing the Twitch TV chat, okay, on the mobile device.
Okay, by the way, if you have any other questions, uh, maybe not for me, but uh, regarding art, uh, Kion will be answering that. So feel free to post uh, any questions about anything. Yeah, about that. Uh, yeah, it suddenly jumped out to 60 plus percent. So I'm going to assume that uh, uh, some games got greenlit. Yeah, but the number of uh, no votes is also increasing slowly. Uh, even though it's lower than the yes votes, but. Oh, uh, by the way, hi there, Mr. Johnson. Welcome back. So we are doing a simple live Q&A session. So feel free to ask us anything. Yeah, so I'm also curious about where the no votes are coming from because uh, we should not be getting any traffic from within Steam itself anymore. Hmm. Okay, unless someone uh, or somewhere out there, someone is uh, advertising for us, uh, which is good in a way. Yeah, but as uh, mentioned previously, we still need around at least. 170 more yes votes yeah So our second question is from Mr. Johnson. Okay, so he asks, why did the chicken cross the road? Ah. Okay, Mimi is trying to get away from the farmer that's chasing it behind. Ah, is that the right answer? By the way, uh, is that a trick question? I'm going to assume that that is a trick question. That is a good one, man. Yeah, sometimes the uh, simplest and most straightforward answer uh, is the best. I'm just going to open up a random canvas just in case we need it to draw anything uh, in related to any questions that you guys might have.
Hey, uh, Sherman Anasasi. Uh, yeah, thanks for doing that as well. Uh, what happened, Mr. Johnson? Uh, did you uh, broke your fingers while wrestling, or was it an accident? Oh, by the way, Anastasi, just in case uh, some of the rules on the subreddits, okay, they might not allow sharing of th uh, those links. So, if you s yeah, if you see those rules, uh, yeah, try to be careful about that. Okay, otherwise it should be okay. So even though this is a Q&A session, uh, but it does not mean that I can't ask questions as well. So let me ask Mr. Johnson, why were you uh, building a tree house? Is it something like a birthday gift? Bracket two B Y four S. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So this is another question for Mr. Johnson. Are you uh really close close with your cousin? Because uh, I'm assuming you are, since you're building a tree house for him. For Christmas. Okay, I'm going to assume that that's a typo. Yeah, it's good to be close with your uh, cousins or your relatives in general. So even though this is more of a Q&A session, but uh, 
Okay, I recommend uh, back and forth interaction. So if there's anything that you want to ask or chat about, feel free to do so. I'm just sending out messages to can you share about this Q&A session uh, oh wait did you get a day of school off just for breaking your figures Uh, sorry to hear about that. Uh, did you wait? Did you break another part of your body again? <laughs> hey, uh, that's kind of impossible because uh, if you really did hundred X-rays, the amount of radiation would sort of kill you, man. There's actually a limit on the amount of x-rays you can do every half a year, yeah. Because you are essentially exposed to radiation while just just a little amount while doing an x-ray. Uh, did you mean that the subreddit is down? Which subreddit were you referring to Anansasi? That's kind of bad. Well, it's hard to imagine uh, the entire Reddit being down. Okay, let me try to see if we can access Reddit now. If we go to the Reddit homepage, huh. Can I tell you my YouTube channel's names? Okay, so that's the next question from Mr. Johnson. Uh, sure, why not? Yeah, feel free to share your uh, YouTube channel name.
Okay, let's draw some random stuff. Okay, I'm just drawing random stuff with my mouse. Oh, okay. So, uh, guys, if you can uh, do check out Mr. Johnston Nine Nine Gamer, uh, which is his, uh, which is Mr. Johnston's Nine Nine YouTube channel. Uh, in fact, let's take a look. Okay, it should be at uh, Mr. Johnston Nine Nine Gamer. Oh. oh okay I'm assuming this must be it okay so I see that you have just created your channel congrats Hey, uh, hi there, welcome back, Chicken Nugget. So we are just having a simple Q&A session today. So feel free to ask us anything uh, that's related to Stellar Stars, to our Indiegogo, and uh, anything else, or anything about us in general. Or uh, anything related to game development as well, if you are curious about that as well. Oh, by the way, we are looking at Mr. Johnston 99's uh, YouTube newly created YouTube channel. Okay, I can't seem to find the gamer uh, page. Oh, is it just this? Oh wait. Okay, so Chicken Nugget asks, uh, how's our day? Yeah, uh, thanks for asking me. We're actually having a great start to a new day. Okay, because we're having this uh, awesome Q&A session with you guys. So it's also an opportunity for us to get to know you guys better. Or to know you better. and for you uh, to know us better as well yeah so feel free to ask anything about us mr johnson oh okay oh that's weird Okay, so we are just looking at Mr. Johnson99 uh, and his gamer YouTube video. Yeah. Hey, I just found it, man. Oh. Okay, so he has. Uh, Mr. Johnson has already uploaded some videos here. Mostly about Minecraft, though.
Okay, so even though this is a Q&A session where you can ask us questions, okay, I would like to ask Mr. Johnson this. Uh, so why, di why did you decide to start a gaming YouTube channel? Oh, and by the way, why only after December? Is it because of the uh, vacation or the uh, festive seasons? Oh, by the way, here's a smiley face for you guys. Maybe we do it in red. So looking at the Twitch TV chat Oh Hey that's a good uh, place to start from Just sharing your love for gaming with everyone Hey, uh, thanks man, Chicken Nugget. I will take that as a compliment, man. <laughs> yeah, you should definitely get out and uh, make more videos since uh, you got a new camera. Okay, so let me ask you this question. Uh, what type of videos are you going to make? Because uh, there are a lot... Okay, there are many ways or many types of video that's, uh, that you can create or make. It's good to have uh, someone that inspires you. <laughs> uh, I'm talking to both of you. Yeah. Okay, let me just move this out. Okay, so we can move it here so it's not blocked by the camera yeah so somewhere around here Okay, so uh, you have two channels, one for gaming and one for uh, more of uh, stuff about your personal life, such as uh, vlogs or unboxing videos. Yeah, you should definitely uh, make use or leverage uh, on Twitch okay, to do some live streaming of uh, when you are gaming. 
but of course uh, do take into consideration that it will require or uh, it will take up some of your CPU resources or quite an amount of your CPU resources yeah so if you have anything to ask about uh, Twitch as well feel free to ask us or how to set up uh, a streaming configuration you can uh, yeah, if you're curious to know about that, you can ask us as well. Oh, so what type of uh, live, or rather, what games will you be playing on Twitch? Or will you be doing some game development on Twitch TV? Okay, so we have our next question from Mr. Johnson. Okay, so Mr. Johnson is asking what microphone do you use? Okay. So we are currently using the uh, Blue Yeti microphone. Okay, so to show you what it looks like. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that is the blue Yeti and uh, the black filter attached to it is the pop filter that will uh, remove any or which will filter out any uh, P pronunciations uh, because when you pronounce uh, words especially that has uh, P in it uh, sometimes you can hear the p -p sound yeah oh hey yeah it is a good microphone to use so uh, yeah good decision to get the blue yeti oh yeah the blue snowball is also uh, sort of like a good introductory microphone to get since it's uh, much cheaper But of course, if you can afford it, uh, do go for this uh, Yeti, since it's uh, yeah, it's better. At least from uh, what I have, at least I feel that it's better after using it for quite at least one year plus. Yeah. Oh, by the way, if you are planning to do some live streaming, uh, okay, do take into consideration the camera that you are about to be using for your live streaming. Okay, if you have the budget for that, uh, why not? Okay, but if not, uh, try to focus on just the uh, mic and the camera. Okay. Okay, that is actually a good idea. Yeah, so if you set up a green screen, you can uh, remove or filter out your background and sort of have you blend into the uh, to whatever you are showing on the live stream. But of course, that will uh, cost additional money.
Oh, okay, so let me ask uh, you this. Okay, why do you not want to do a face cam? Because, uh, okay, when uh, you are live streaming and when someone can see you, okay, it's how should I describe this? It creates a better sense of uh, connection and people can see your uh, emotions and your expressions, and yeah, it's much. It's much more interesting that way. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, it's possible to do it just by using a big uh, canvas and just painting it green. Or you can uh Okay, let's try this out Chroma key Oh Wow. Okay, select. Wait, what? Okay, that wall in the background. Okay. Okay, let's try that, man. Okay, let's try uh, playing with this value here. Okay, okay, I think we are almost getting it. Okay, blend. Okay, even though my head my hair is disappearing. <laughs> ah. Okay, this is kind of funny. It looks like my hair is blending in with the background So uh, we got a ghost effect Yeah, okay, so for now I guess we need a Okay, we need a background with a uniform color in order to do this no, It's alright, we just need a 
uniform background okay which for now we do not have yeah but uh, you have to admit it's kind of funny <laughs> hey uh, welcome back Anasasi oh uh, okay so to answer Mr. Johnson's question okay what did you do with the one dollar donation I gave you just asking uh, nothing okay so it's still in the uh, PayPal account uh, just sitting there and chilling and say uh, and taking a break yeah it's just saying hi let me just take a break Yeah, so as we were saying, okay, if you plan to do some live streaming, uh, focus on the uh, mic and the uh, camera. Because uh, as you might have already known by now, or in fact you are looking at it, okay, we do not have uh, a good mic, so the resolution is not exactly that great. Okay, which is why when we do live streaming we usually uh, at least okay for us we just shrink the camera all the way to the bottom left yeah so if your budget allows it try to go for the uh, logitech c wait let me let me just check for the model number Oh, okay. If you want to get a good camera, or rather, uh, Mr. Johnson is asking what's a good camera for vlogs and unboxing videos. Uh, go for a GoPro if your budget allows it. Okay, uh, because if you use a GoPro and uh, there's something that you can attach to it and you can use it to stabilize the video. So even if you move around, the video will still look uh, kind of professional and good. Hey, uh, welcome back to Gaming. Gaming. Uh, what's up, man? So we are doing a simple Q&A session, a live Q&A session. Uh, so feel free to ask us anything about uh, status stars, about the game, about the ending goal, or about us, or anything under the sun. <laughs> Okay, but this Q&A session will be somewhat different because uh, I will also be asking you guys questions as well. So it's not a one-way Q&A session. <laughs> hey, uh, that's a great way to introduce yourself, man, Chicken Nugget. Uh, so my question to you is do you always do that uh, when you do self introductions Okay, so my question to Chicken Nugget is Are you a fan of uh, that? Of having a four way 
as you describe it. Oh, okay. So another camera that is good uh, for vlogs and unboxing videos. Okay, it's not exactly just for uh, vlogs, but the Logitech C920 is a really good uh, webcam that you can not only use for live streaming but also for uh, recording videos. Yeah, just in general. So you can check out the Logitech C920. Okay, it's a rather good uh, webcam. Which, uh, yeah, it's not really that expensive, but it's not as exactly cheap as well. So this will depend on your budget as well. So I have a question for uh, Chicken Nugget Okay, so If you're not a fan of that uh, What are you a fan of? <laughs> hey, uh Okay, there's definitely a reason why he's called Chicken Nugget Games, Mr. Johnson. Okay, so we have a question from Chicken Nugget. So uh, he asked if we can play a song on the stream. Uh, sure, man. Uh, what song would you like to request? Okay, by the way, if... Oh! Okay, we might not be able to play some songs because of the uh, Twitch TV and YouTube copyright thingy. Yeah, so do take that into consideration. Okay, that's... A, that's the classic answer, man. Okay, let's see. <laughs> yeah, this is a rather, uh, yeah, this should be safe. Hey, uh, welcome back, Mr. Johnson. Oh, okay, so my next question is for Mr. Johnson. What uh, phone are you using? Okay, that's a rather short uh, video, man. Oh, 
Oh. Okay, so you are an iPhone user. Okay, I'm still using uh, my old Android S2 phone, uh, which still works. Yeah, we might. Okay, so uh, Chicken Nugget is requesting that we play that, but uh, we might not be able to play that due to some copyright issues, which uh, yeah, is kind of uh, restrictive on YouTube and Twitch TV. Hey, uh, no worries, man. I'm more of a greedy type of person, so uh, if I have an iPhone and an Android, I'll use both, man. Okay. So we have a special request from Chicken Nugget. Okay, so let's take a look at Little Baby's Ice Cream. And let's take a look at what? Whoa. This is kind of creative actually. I spring from But it's kind of creepy as well. Activity. I love my job. I love my life. When you eat Yeah, to be honest, it's a little bit kind of creepy. And nod and hug and high five each other with great enthusiasm. Yeah, especially his uh his eyes man and his expression. It's kind of creepy. Ice cream in a way. Yeah. Okay, so no way I'm going to play that again, man. <laughs> so if you have another creepy request, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do another creepy request. Okay, I have to admit that it's, it's uh, actually quite creative. It, but it's uh, creepy at the same time. Oh, hey, uh, thanks man, Anasasi. Oh, uh... Oh! Hey, uh, welcome back, uh, Bastian Hawk. Uh, it has really been a while. So, how have you been, man? So, we're actually doing a simple Q&A session here. But, uh, as you can see, it's not the usual Q&A. So, you can ask me anything, but I will also be asking you questions. Yeah, so how have you been, man, uh, Bastian? Yeah, so basically we'll uh, just be sitting here and asking each other questions and getting to know each other better. So this is my f uh, Q&A format. It's slightly different from your UJ, uh, usual Q&A. Oh, okay, glad to hear that, man. Uh, uh, Bastian. So what have you been up to man? Ok 
Okay, so Chicken Nugget is asking why does everyone uh, uses his full name? Uh, yeah, because it sounds better saying Chicken Nugget than just Chicken. Yeah, because if we just say Chicken, it, uh, it makes me feel hungry. Hey, uh, glad to hear that, man. Yeah. Looking forward to your uh, games that you create using Unity as well, uh, Bastion. Oh, uh, just an another question for you. Have you, uh, or rather, which version of Unity are you using right now? Are you using the latest 5.3? Or is it just, or not? Hey, uh, funny man, chicken nugget. That's really funny. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so another question for Bastian: Are you running uh, Unity on Mac or on Windows, or even Linux or Linux? Yeah, uh, then it should be fine. Yeah, but I've not uh, tried the latest Unity version, so yeah, sometimes it might not be that stable to upgrade to it yet. Hey, sure, man. So, what is the joke that you have for us, Chicken Nugget? Guys, Chicken Naga has a joke for us. <laughs> okay, so his question is why did uh shit, how do you pronounce that? Adele cross the road. Huh. Okay, and my answer will be to get to the other side. Okay, is that the right answer? Or oh, is this another trick uh, question? Thanks for that man, Anasasi. So it's uh, Adele or Adele. Uh, yes, I know that but I just uh, did not know the actual pronunciation of that and I definitely did not know the lyrics to her songs. Yeah. Hey, that's a good joke, man. <laughs> oh, do you usually come up with uh, jokes using uh, Song artist. Oh, 
Okay, so Bastian is asking, uh, so was putting multiplayer in Stellar Stars difficult? Okay, to be honest, uh, it's not that straightforward and uh, to say that it's easy is uh, not true. So yeah, it's difficult. But it's fun and uh, you get to learn a lot of stuff with uh, network, lag, uh, different states of the game and whether players uh, different players across uh, different locations are looking at, at the same things or not and a lot of stuff about uh, making sure that uh, things are synchronized but it's definitely worth it because uh, it means that you get to play with other players your friends anyone else yeah Oh, uh, okay, so to follow up on that answer, uh, we are actually still, uh, okay, the core gameplay in the multiplayer is sort of already there, but there are still some things that we need to add to it, so it's still an ongoing process, but of course, uh, trust us when we say that uh, it's what we are currently focused on. Oh, uh, what's that about kangaroos, man? Uh, Anasasi. Oh, okay, so I would like to ask uh, Bastian a question as well. So, what type of multiplayer are you planning to put in your game? Uh, is it something that is uh, real time based or is it uh, turn based? Oh, uh, sure man, chicken nugget. Feel free to ask uh, about anything. Okay, I'm also looking at the... Oh, chat through my uh, phone. Yeah, so I can get to your questions instantly. Oh, okay. Uh, Thumb-based multiplayer is uh, yeah, it's really fun. You get to see, and it opens up a lot of uh, room for you to add uh, interaction between uh, players, especially if you're thinking about adding chat to your game. Yeah, that is that is also part of multiplayer. Yeah, because if you can chat with someone and also play with that person. It increases the uh, or improves the gameplay experience. Okay, unless of course that other person is being uh, toxic. Okay, so we are just going to take a quick look at this uh, image of a kangaroo. <laughs> oh, is that a baby kangaroo? And is he or she crying? Is that a tear coming out from uh, his or her eye? Hmm. Oh, hey, uh, welcome back C61 or should I call Liam? Right? So how have you been, man? Okay, so Chicken Nugget is asking uh, if he should do or he should design his game in the sense of uh, giving hints in each of three versions of his game. One in a modern style, one in a futuristic and one in a World War II base.
Okay, so when you combine all those three games, uh, it involves time traveling. That is definitely interesting, and uh, if I were to say, you should definitely go for it. Okay, so C six one is asking, uh, did we get greenlit yet? Oh, by the way, we are doing a simple Q and A session here. So it's a chance for us to get to know each other better where you can ask me anything and I will also ask you questions. So it's a back and forth Q&A session. Okay, so to answer c 6 ones or Liam's question, uh, no, not yet, but we are uh, getting as many yes votes as possible every day. Uh, to be exact, we need ar around 160 more yes votes to tilt that, uh, yeah, to at least get greenlit, yeah. Okay, because that around 160 yes vote is that few percentage that will allow us to jump up. Okay, so we have uh, the next question from C61. Okay, so uh, Liam is asking how many votes did we get? Okay, so let me just show you. Uh, yeah, since it's easier to show you. Hey, uh, Sherman Chicken Nugget. Feel free to ask me anything. Uh, yeah, so Anastasi has helped answer uh, the question. Yeah, we have around 580 at the moment. Yeah, we need at least around 700 plus to reach uh, more yes votes than no votes. Hey, sure, man. Okay, that's why we are having this uh, Q and A session. Hey, no worries, man. I will definitely not judge you. So feel free to ask me anything. Okay. Uh, by the way, let me just show you the. Uh, yeah. Okay, the number of votes we have right now, which you can see even from the uh, there's a website which has a database of every uh, game on green light. So this is what we have right now. So we are uh, around thirty percent away to the top hundred. Yeah. So it's still a long way. So as you can see, we need yeah around 160 votes more to tilt this green area here. Okay, let me just uh, and that this yeah. So we need around 160 more votes to tilt this green area uh, to be more than this blue area. Yeah. So that is what is most important. Oh, okay. So our next question from Chicken Nugget uh, is. He asks, do you know the Muffin Man? Uh, right? Uh, okay, I will have to honestly say that uh, I No, I do not know which Muffin Man you are referring to 
but I definitely love uh, pancakes and muffins. Yeah. Okay, maybe I'll lean more towards pancakes because I know how to make them. Yeah, and it's more, uh, it's rather straightforward to make uh, pancakes as compared to muffins. Yeah, maybe I should try creating muffins. But uh, which muffin man were you referring to? The muffin man. Uh oh. Oh, by the way, hi there. Uh, Arctic Blue TV. Okay, just saw your name here. Uh, welcome to the White Sponge live stream. And which muffin man? Okay. Okay, that proves that. Uh, that is clear evidence that I do not know the muffin man. Let's check it out. Okay, the muffin man. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's actually a traditional nursery uh, or children's song from England, I guess. Yeah. Ah, this is interesting. Hey, when you say uh, things like one does not simply know the Muffin Man, you have to do... <laughs> yeah, you have to make this hand uh, gesture. Yeah. One does not simply know the Muffin Man. Or is it th or is it this hand? Yeah, I rem I remember it's this hand. Yeah, if you have watched uh, Lord of the Rings, you will know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, uh, what time is it over there for you? I'm assuming it's quite late. How did you create that uh, emoticon? Wait, let me try. Illuminati. Oh, damn it. Wait, is that a... Uh oh, okay. Is that a five? Or is it a that's a five, right? Ah. 
Okay, how did you create that uh, emoticon? Anyway, thanks for joining us today, Chicken Nugget. I hope you enjoyed this simple Q&A session. Oh, okay, okay. So it's actually... Ah, damn it. It's, it's around 12.35 p.m. here Okay, over here Yeah, so that's the difference in our time zones Oh, okay Singapore and Australia is kind of a meet distance neighbors. Okay, let me try that again. Hmm. Or is it D E I L L? Wait, are you on a uh, Twitch Turbo? Okay, I'm guessing that uh, this emoticon is always is only for Twitch Turbo. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Okay, D E I L L. Oh yes. Okay, got it. Finally. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so this is my question for you guys. Is there a is there a way to know the list of uh, emoticons or the commands for them, like uh? Emoticon cheat shit. Hey, sure, man. Upper right. Oh. Hey, uh, thanks, man, uh, Bastian Hawk. And I'll see you soon again, Chicken Nugget. 
have a great night and uh, be sure to join tomorrow's live stream as well. Oh, hey, uh, mind blown as well, man. Sis, uh, Liam. Oh, so my question for uh, Bastian is, which emoticon is your favorite? Uh, frog. Oh, that's really cute. Okay, I guess mine will have to be. Oh. Yeah, I guess mine will have to be Tom Man. Uh, yeah. Is that Tom? Yeah, from Tom and Jerry. I actually have another question then for Bastian. Uh, wait, how many children do you have? Oh, and yeah, welcome back. So I was just asking, how many children do you have, Bastian? Oh, by the way, in the spirit of the new Star Wars movie, let's uh, have a. Stormtrooper emoticon. Oh, okay, guys, let's congrats uh, Bastian on his uh, upcoming uh, chow. Oh, congrats, man. Yeah, it's not easy being a father or a dad. There are some things which, uh, oh, okay, so, okay, I actually have another question for you, Bastian. Uh, so, how has your life changed since uh, becoming a father? Because it's, uh, it, it's something that we can learn from uh, for those of us that uh, are not fathers yet. Yeah.
Oh. Uh, so, uh, do you feel stress uh, if you have to work more on your freelance projects or on your Unity projects? Oh, okay. So Kion is actually preparing. Uh, okay, so Anastasi is asking what Kion is doing right now. Uh, yeah, he's focused on creating a new arena for the game. So it's sort of like a gladiator arena. So you can think of it as a new stage in just for multiplayer. So it's not accessible in the single player mode. So look forward to that as well. So I can really sense that drive uh, from you, uh, Bastian. So it's a good thing and uh, use that energy to be productive, yeah. As you describe it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, don't worry man, Anastasi, I will tell him that. That that is true, man. I definitely have to agree with that. Oh, okay. Then I would like to ask uh, Bastian another question again. So, how often do you exercise uh, per week? Or is there, uh, or is it not something like a fixed schedule? It is just on random days. I actually just uh, this just came to me but I have a very serious question for Anastasi uh, how are your pizzas done in Australia Okay, so almost every day, uh, wait, so my next question is, uh, do you not, uh, that means, uh, do you think that, or rather, uh, so do you not allow your muscles to rest uh, in between your exercise days or uh, is that also part, part of your training as well? That is indeed a really smart way of doing that, man. Uh, okay, so okay, round, cover in ingredients and cook. Okay, then uh, the the next question that I will have to ask Anastasi is crucial. Thin crust or thick crust or stuffed crust. Oh, 
Uh, hi there, Reckless Abandoned. Hello, and welcome to the Vice Sponge live stream. We are actually doing a simple Q and A session here, so you can uh, feel free to ask us anything. But uh, okay, this is not the usual Q and A, so I, you can ask me anything or ask anything. But I will also be asking you guys questions as well. So it's a good uh, chance for us to get to know each other better. Or you can just think of it as a rather chill chit chat session, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm a fan of uh, Thin Crust Pizza and also Stuffed Crust Pizza. Especially if there's cheese or uh, some other ingredients in the crust itself. Yeah. So as uh, I've just mentioned, feel free to ask us anything. Uh, it, can, it could be related to Stellar Stars, which is the game we are crafting right now, or uh, about the Indiegogo that we are running, or anything about game development, or if you just want to know more about us, uh, feel free to ask ahead. Yeah, just drop your question on the Twitch TV chat. So getting back to uh, exercising, yeah, yeah, I definitely should start changing muscle groups as well. Okay, mm. but uh, for my personal exercise uh, program, usually I will start, or rather, I will use, or I will do jogging and. Uh, some static exercises involving sit-ups, push-ups, yeah, that and jogging. So, and I usually do that uh, once every two to three days to allow for my muscles to recover, because uh, yeah, so far I have not. Uh, started a different muscle group training program yeah oh uh, by the way it's all right so uh, so we're actually just having a simple q a session here hey yeah uh, we actually do live streaming every day but today's kind of special is a q a session where you can ask us questions about anything okay but uh, we also be asking you questions so it's kind of like a get to know each other better session, yeah. You can also think of it as a simple cheat and chit chat session for us to get to know each other better, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, that means that I will need to add uh, weights to my training as well. Yeah. Oh, okay, so I know you just joined this live Q&A session. Uh, okay, but I have a question for you, uh, Reckless. Just a simple question. Uh, where are you from? <laughs> so for us to get to know you better as well, That's interesting. Uh, using a resistant band. Okay, I have definitely not tried that before. Uh. Oh, we 
Wait a minute. Wait, uh, do I know you, Ragdust Abandon? Wait, you went to SMU, right? Okay, that means I must have known you from SMU. Hmm. Okay, if only your username is your real name. <laughs> okay, but that usually does not happen uh, online. Oh, hey Alvin, hi there. Uh, been a while, man. Wait, I know a lot of Alvin's, but are you Alvin from uh JCC? You can actually download the demo, but you need to find someone to try out the multiplayer uh, mode with you. Oh, hey, uh, it has really been a while since JCC, man. What, how many years? Four to five years? Oh uh, no, maybe three to four years, yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, thanks for the suggestion, man, Bastion. Uh, I think I might get a resistant band just to try it out and see whether it uh, will improve my uh, training. Oh, by the way, the multiplayer is still a work in progress. So what you see might still change. Yeah. Oh, so how have you been, man, Alvin? It has been around what? Uh, four years? Yeah, at least four years since I last saw you. Yeah. Yeah, Singapore is kind of small, so uh, yeah, it's easy to catch up if you want. Oh, by the way, we do uh, we do indeed uh, stream uh, on Twitch TV regularly. So anytime you want to check uh, check out our live stream on Twitch TV, uh, in Singapore time that'll be Monday to Friday. Yeah. Yeah, I get that a lot. I'm not sure if... If it's because of me uh, over-exercising or not eating enough, but... Uh, okay, recently I'm kind of stuck at around 55kg. I'm not sure why, even, even if I try to eat a lot uh, during breakfast, I... We will still eventually return to around 55 kg. Oh, by the way, that's my current weight. So I might try a different diet of more protein. Yeah. To maybe bulk up and uh, increase my weight. Okay, maybe I'm jogging too much as well. Oh. Oh, I'm ar I'm actually around one point seven one meters. Yeah, so one seven one cm. Yeah. So it's kind of just uh the average height. Oh, by the way, uh, what are you doing now nowadays, uh, Alvin?
Yeah, so Bastian was asking uh, my height. Yeah, so I'm around 171 cm. Okay, so uh, ah. okay. So from the feedback from Bastian, okay. Later lunch, I'm gonna grab some uh meat or egg or maybe chicken for more protein instead of just the usual uh rice with some veggie. Yeah, I actually consume a lot of uh, veggie in my diet. So we, I think I need to balance that out with protein, yeah, or meat. Oh, okay. So here's my question for you guys. Uh, how tall are, are you guys, man? Okay, yeah, so okay, 20 to 30 grams of uh, protein per meal, so that's around 80 to 120 grams of protein per day. Oh, uh, hey, thanks, man, uh, Alvin. Uh, by the way, if you can do help to vote for uh, Stellar Stars on Steam Greenlight. Yeah, we need all the votes we can get. Whoa, holy shit, you are tall, man. Okay, so I definitely have enough veggies in my diet, so we need more protein, yeah. Hey, uh... Okay, but you can definitely survive a uh, so-called uh, end of the world event as compared to me if uh, the ice age comes just saying I'm just saying <laughs> Yeah, because you definitely have more protein than me. Yeah. So I guess that helps. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's funny how we always uh, eventually talk about food. Even though we are supposed to be uh, talking about games. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, so I'm just I'm going to start doing that right from uh, lunch. Yeah. Okay, immediately, and that is almost yeah. It's almost time for that man. Time for protein. Okay, that sounds wrong, but you get the idea. By the way, this is why uh, we are having this session, okay, where we can ask each <laughs> other questions and learn about each other more. A young man, Alvin. It's kind of fun when you have to be creative with. Uh, limited number of colors so that's part of why it's uh, appealing oh okay so the song track is actually composed by okay let me just show you the theme list okay pause this Yeah. Uh, you can call him Jose or BBK. Yeah. So he composes the music for Stellar Stars. Yeah. So we're here. And uh, of course, we have Anasasi here. <laughs> Oh, hey, uh, please share uh, your game uh, when you can, Bastion. Okay, I think I will like it. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, trying it out, man. So this is uh, the sort of pixelized avatar for Anasasi. And it's uh, done by Kaon. So if you want, you can thank Kaon for creating these avatars. Hey sure man, uh, wait, uh, so my question to you Bastion is uh, What language are you using to create your game in? Or, oh wait, you're using Unity right? So are you using C Sharp for it? Uh, that's what I'm also using and that's what I find uh, to have more information about it online uh, in general as, a, as compared to JavaScript
Yeah, so from today's Q&A session, uh, okay, we definitely got to know more about uh, each other. Yeah, so I'm definitely looking forward to doing more of this, man. And I even got the chance to talk with uh, with an old friend from my uni days. So uh, we'll just do a few more questions. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to ask me. Okay, in the next few minutes. Okay, it can be about anything. Yeah, essentially anything. Hey, uh, sure, man. Uh, okay, feel free to share it here and uh, let's take a look, man. interesting uh, okay so to answer Alvin's question uh, do you intend to make it uh, God of full flappy bird difficult <laughs> okay so uh, I do intend to make it challenging uh, yeah but for multiplayer that's up the difficulty is up to you uh, it's dependent on which or who you are facing against Oh, by the way, the multiplayer is uh, for two to four players, so you can have a match with just two players or four players. Okay, let's take a look at our uh, animated JF. Oh. Hey, this is really cool. Also, it's a multiplayer turn based, tile based, uh, sh sort of like space ship battle type of game. Sh uh, strategy as well. Hey, this is really cool, man. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to more of the uh, gameplay videos or animated GIFs that you will share. Uh, yeah, looking forward to that, man. Okay, alright, guys. Okay, uh, okay, we will have to stop here for the Q and A session. Okay, but do remember to join us for tomorrow's live streaming as well. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed today's. Uh, simple Q&A session where we got to know each other better through 
asking uh, questions and chit chatting. Yeah, we basically sat down and just chit chat for around two hours. Alright, so see you guys tomorrow as well at the same time for tomorrow's live streaming where we'll do some game development. <laughs> hey, thanks, man, Buster. Okay, see you guys. And uh, if there's anything you wish to contact me about, uh, just drop me a tweet at Twitter. Uh, my username is at Spongebob. See you guys.